Welcome to the video. Let's talk about wheels. Uh, someone said, do you think disc brakes are a scam? I don't think they're a scam. I think disc brakes are great if you really think you need them. The price though, the price. This is a Shimano Durace Rotor, the RT900SS. It's a 140 mil rotor and it ain't cheap. All right, these are very fragile. Be very careful with these. If you travel with your bike in the back of the car, be careful you don't knock your rotors. They flex, they bend, they're very, very thin, they're flexy, and they're designed to be lightweight. They're still not as light as rim brakes, but, okay, so they're, they're good for, I love them on my gravel bike, you know, I love them on the gravel bike, but for road, I prefer rims. But if you do travel with discs, just be mindful of them, especially if you've got these lightweight Durace ones, they're not cheap, and if you bend them, it can be a bit of a bit of a nuisance, all right? So be careful with your rotors. So don't want to step on them, just be, be careful with them. They are very fragile. Let's talk about, the often debate as well, you know, I'd rather have disc brakes and spend 300 bucks, change my rotors and pads every time than, than spend $2,000 on a pair of lightweight rims. Well, these, this wheel here would cost me maybe three or 400 bucks second hand in Adelaide, you know, on the second hand market, just a one off, an odd wheel. No one cares about that. I've got a few sets of these, they're good wheels, but they last a long time. So the whole debate of like, disc brakes are cheaper long term, that's, that's absolutely false. That's false. Uh, this wheel set here bought, it's got, it looks like a fast sport rim, plenty of life left in this rim, plenty of life left, beautiful hub, DT Swiss 350 hub, plenty of bearing life left in there, some great DT Swiss spokes, front and rear, bought them off a guy who's upgraded, uh, well upgraded, who's changed over to disc brakes, and I had a great chat with him, he's a cool dude, and so yeah, DT Swiss 350 hub wheel set for 150 bucks Australian, so, and no one wanted them, no one wanted these wheels, they were on there, there for ages, they listed for ages, no one wanted them, it wasn't like a, I was first in, it was just like no one wanted these wheels for 150 bucks, that's just what we have here in Adelaide, this is how, how it rolls, and I was like, well, I might as well have them, I can't let things just go to waste, you know, so they're great wheels, nice and wide as well, beautiful wheel set, 150 bucks, you know, for the price of almost one rotor, you can get a carbon wheel set, on Facebook Marketplace and have a great chat. Loving it. Front wheel, 50 bucks. Drace, brand new almost. All right, it's very cosmetically worn, dirty, greasy and stuff, but the bearing quality is perfect. The rim surfaces, look at, look at that. Look at that, that's very virginal. It's a very virginal rim quality. You know, it hasn't done many miles at all. Cosmetically, it's pretty pretty subpar. Then comes with a tire as well. You know, and, like it's just, it's hardly done any miles. So this whole notion that rim brake, disc brakes will save you money. <laughs> that's what that's what marketing department wants you to believe. But the real world experience for me living here in Adelaide, Australia is far, far different. Now I know if you live in California or France, there's gonna be bargains and deals all the time because people go, wow, this is old technology. I want the latest and greatest. What's the Durace wheel worth? Nothing, 50 bucks, you know, 50 bucks tops. Now obviously people out there will go, oh no, my wheel set's worth 800 bucks. And it's like you're dreaming. You know, the, it's the disc brake market is all about disc brakes now. All right? It's all about disc brakes now. So the rim stuff, which I prefer for road, is worth jack all. It's worth jack all. So there you go. That's my opinion. Uh, discs are fantastic for some people in some applications. The lightweight ones, these 140 mil rotors bend easy. Be careful. Uh, they don't offer that much braking power in, in the dry or even the wet. You, you're basically limited to how much traction your tire has. All right? There's 25 mil, 23 mil tires. I think for that application, for me, rim brakes works better. For gravel riding, fatter tires, you can see some got some fatter tires over through there. Then yeah, disc brakes for great. Gravel, mud, I ride this for mud and I just you can see the you know, how much mud's on that bottom bracket area. So you know, disc brakes great for that. Otherwise for me it's road uh, for rim all the way. Anyway, that's the video. Share your thoughts down below. Watch me new experiences with disc brakes, and uh, <laughs> it's definitely more expensive. Definitely more expensive. One, you've got to buy the whole new bike, which is fine, you know, for N plus one people. But, you know, if you're a road racer, this is going to be cheaper, man. If you're a road racer, it's going to be cheaper. If you're a gravel rider, okay, get it. Um, so, yeah, yeah there's, there's pros and cons to everything. But, yeah, keep that in mind. And do you need expensive rotors? If you're trying to save weight, you do. Otherwise, the cheaper rotors are fine, work just good, just good enough as well. Yeah, good enough. There you go, that's the deal. Look after these rotors, they bend very, very easy. All right, very, very easy. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you hated it, give it a thumbs down. If you want more information, go visit durinrider.com. I've got two fantastic ebooks up there the money saving tips. All right, Durinrider's Lean Body Bible, it's a bike buyer's guide, constantly updated. It's gonna save you thousands of dollars. You know, you so many people get into cycling the first one or two years and they buy so much junk, not junk, but 
junk. Expensive stuff they don't really need. Sold under the guise of increase their performance, but it doesn't right, most of the time. So I've been there, I spent hundreds of thousands of dollars in the bike industries, you know, coached thousands of people over the last 20 something years of racing, 24 years of racing. I know what works, what doesn't, what's a fad and what's legit. That book's gonna save a lot of money. The other one, cut the F up, watching the algorithm there, is just a lifestyle book, nutrition, everything. You know, just gonna save you more money there. I'm all about adding value to people's lives, all right? You give me a little, a little small little fee of an ebook, you're gonna save thousands and thousands of dollars if you put it to practice, I guarantee it, all right? Anyway, that's the deal. See you next video.